If you're just joining us, we're celebrating the life of one of our most memorable guests, Lisa German. Lisa made friends everywhere she went. She became close with other people that we've had on the show, and they started a group text called The Lucky 13. And when The Lucky 13 heard that we were celebrating Lisa today, they wanted to be here and do this. I wish somebody would have told me, babe. When I hear the name Lisa Jarman, the first thing I think of is joy. I instantly picture a ray of sunshine, just a beautiful, beautiful smile. She's a very spicy woman. Strong, resilient. Energy, happiness, thankfulness, kindness. When I saw Lisa on TV, I, along with millions of viewers, fell in love with her. Her reactions was just hysterical. Was like, don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that. Don't do that. And the, the church faint. Oh. Just to see that big personality come to life on camera was just like, like, I don't know, it's like ice cream. <laughs> I first met Lisa when we were invited back to do Ellen's 2000th show. She stood up and I said, hi, my name is, and she didn't even let me get my name out. She opened her arms and she brought me in and gave me this big hug and said, any friend of Ellen is a friend of mine. I remember actually seeing her in the lobby of the hotel. I went up to her and I said, you're Lisa Jarman. And she says, you're the nurse that swallowed his gum. <laughs> and I will never forget that. She brought the room to life. I mean, she was amazing. And I just remember she was exactly what I thought she would be. We all shared this common thread and we shared this bond that immediately sealed us to each other as brothers and sisters, as family. And we affectionately call ourselves the Lucky 13. Because it was her 13th season and Ellen brought us all together. Lisa was kind of like the chief driver of that bond, but we all were like magnets. We all came together that way. We check on each other to make sure how everyone is doing. We support each other through our highs and through our lows. Through um, good times and bad times. And when my husband was very sick, Lisa would message me and ask me how he's doing, send me prayer, and um, it just meant the world to me. I found out Lisa was sick. She sent a text message to us just to let, her, let us know what was going on. I, we were all so sad, but we were there for each other, and we wanted to be there for her. She knew that I was an oncology nurse, and we talked about it, and throughout this whole entire journey that I was able to be part of with her, she would always say, I'm praying for you too. And when I reached out to her, telling her, I'm sending you prayers of strength right now, her response to me was, I'm more blessed now than I ever have been. When Lisa came to the show a few months back, I walked into the dressing room where she was hanging out after the show. She literally jumped up, gave me the biggest hug that I ever had. We were freaking out, so excited to see one another. And afterwards, I reflected on it, realizing at that point in time, you know, she was in so much pain. She was going through so much, yet she was still the same Lisa. It's hard losing anyone. But it's hard losing a special gift like Lisa. I know she's here with us. She's even here with me right now in this room going like, gee, stop crying. I'm good. I'm out of pain. I'm good. And that's my grandbaby, Anaya. And that's a, a, kid, a kid with Anaya. <laughs> we know what she meant to Ellen and the Ellen show. But we just wanted people to know what she meant beyond that. To be able to come back to her favorite place and be amongst so many of her favorite people that she loves so much. And to get to honor her life and celebrate her this way is huge. She left an imprint on my heart that I will never forget. Thank you, Lisa, for being you. Thank you. I still hurt on the inside, but throughout it all, you know, I'm a better man because I met Lisa. I think, I think Lisa said it best. Lisa said, 
when Ellen gives you something, she gives you life-changing somethings. And getting to know this group and getting to befriend Lisa Jarman, for me, was a life-changing something. She was like a superhero, and her power was kindness. We'll be right back. We are back with Lisa Jarman's friends and family, and uh, this is amazing because all of you met here yes, yes. on that 2000 show, and we've all done something for all of you, and it just, you yeah. all just bonded yeah. on yeah. your own. Yeah. 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 Immediately, as soon as we walked in that room, we were like, Oh my God! Family, oh my family. God! Family. It was just, it was just this incredible bond. It's yes. beautiful, and and I know that this will keep going. Yes. Yes. Um, oh, all right, right, before we go, there's something that we want to do. So Lisa embodied everything that we stand for at this show. She was kind. She was mm -hmm. loving. She put everyone around her first. Yes. Uh, and because of this, we want to do something that we've never done before. We're starting the Lisa Jarman <gasps> Fund, oh and God. we're going to find other deserving people who have the same qualities that Lisa uh, might ha that she had, and they may need a little something. And so we're going to honor them in her name. And our friends at Shutterfly want to make the first donation to the Lisa Jarman Fund with a check for $100,000. Oh, oh, thank you so much. $100,000. Yes. 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 She's not saying no right now. She's saying yes. Yeah. If you know someone incredible in your, in your community, like Lisa, go to our website, tell us about them. I want to thank Idris Elba. See you tomorrow. Be kind to one another. Bye-bye. <laughs>